All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Enigma Enigmatica 6. I'll get it one day. I'm going to mess it up on the first go around every single time. It's fine. Um, anyway, welcome on back, everyone. I hope everyone's been enjoying this series. This is episode four, I believe. Um, and we are jumping right back on into things today. So for those of you who are keeping up with the series, you know that in the last episode, we went on ahead and we got some cooking for blockheads up and going so we could actually get some good food production um, going fairly shortly here. We also have some berries that are growing outside. We probably should go grab those because they do regenerate fairly quick. We also do have some olives. We have an olive tree up here that I had acquired along our travels um, that I probably should grab the olives off of because these would be very useful. I want to keep a look out for all of these different fruit trees and uh, miscellaneous bushes and whatnot um, that could offer us some good food. Uh, so we're going to grab these and we are going to go back inside. We'll sleep through the night here in just a second, but let's put these away. So I do have my food kind of natural items drawer here that doesn't really make that much sense because pine saplings probably shouldn't be in there. They probably should be over here in our wood chest. So yeah, okay, let's sleep through the night. So we got a good ways through cooking for blockheads, but unfortunately we could not get up and going the main cooking table, the main crafting table from it. Um, and I think I actually, I don't have it saved anymore. So let's go back to cooking for blockheads. Yep, this is what we want right here, which we do need the book for. This is where we're getting hung up on it because we do need diamonds alongside a normal um, tier one cooking for blockheads book, which we need a book for. Which there's two things, two parts of that that we don't have. One, we don't have a book and we can't get a book until we get some paper. So we got to go out and find some paper. So we're going to do that today. We're going to try to find some sugar cane. But the other part of that obviously is the diamonds. We need to get some mining up and going. So I figured we would work on that a little bit today and just kind of progress a little bit more um, with our resources and what we have on hand so we can then continue down the path that we are currently on. You may notice that uh, our iron pickaxe now has a iron handle to it too. I've been getting a little bit more accustomed to Tetra and how the tools work with it. And it's uh, so far been pretty fun to go through. Um, I've also been using the stone hammer a lot. The stone hammer is awesome. It does a three by three, has a ton of durability. It feels like um, for what it actually is, for li how little resources it actually costs for us to get it up and going. So let's head into our quest book here because I feel like it's been a hot minute since we've come in here because cooking for blockheads is not a area within the quest line, at least that I am familiar with. Um, and what I wanted to do was go to this tools here because there was some cool stuff that we had noticed in this pane that I feel like would be very useful for us if we can get it up and going. It just depends. Um, so first and foremost was up here. We had the mining helmet um, and the portable stone cutter these are pretty interesting i'm gonna bookmark these ones um this one's actually not too bad a little bit of lead leather and a lantern on top that's actually pretty easy to do and then the stone cutter throw the ingredients as items on the ground and place an anvil on the block above to craft it okay um that's interesting that's i geez okay i've never experienced something like that but we do need an anvil which is a lot of iron we're not really to that point yet unfortunately but wait a minute what was that thing oh you can have a, a machinist a machinist there now the other thing i did notice that i wanted to take a peek at which i feel like would be helpful is down here this is the thermal series stuff which we've done before and we were looking into because of the magnet and that's really what's catching my eye here is like the magnet. It'd be so nice to have a magnet. I feel like we're missing out on so many things. Ooh, we also do have this from Pneumatic Craft, which I've never really gotten into, but I just don't know. Oh, that looks, we do need compressed iron, explosion crafting and a pressure. Okay, that's going, <laughs> that's going way too deep into things there. Where's the start on this? Is it just the flux magnet? Yeah. A powered magnet, perfect for keeping your precious items from falling into lava. Use a tinkerer's workbench to install various upgrades. Oh, you know what? I think they did add in. 
Yeah, they did. From Thermal Series, this is what caught me off guard. I thought they meant a Tinker's Workbench from Tinker's Construct, but no, they actually added in a Tinker's Workbench from Thermal Series. So, they never make anything straightforward, can they? All right, anywho, let's see. Do we have any leather left over? I honestly don't think we do. We might have to go out and get some leather before we could do anything. And I don't think there's an easy way to get it either, if I'm not mistaken. Like, if we look at leather... Um, it's not like we could somehow craft it up if we had strips, which is uh, no, I don't I don't think we're going to be able to do it. But let's just take a peek. Doesn't hurt, right? Oh, you can with rotten flesh in a redstone furnace, um, but that's where it starts getting to you. It's exact. It has to be a redstone furnace. So even though we have some here, I don't believe it'll work. So if we grab four of these and we throw them in here, yeah, it won't even let us place them in there. Or actually it will, but it won't do anything. So it has to be a redstone furnace. Bit of a bummer there, but you know, it's okay. Um, as you can see, we have accumulated a decent amount of resources, and that is because we have a little mine shaft going right here. I have big plans for this. I'm super excited, you guys. Uh, I've gone into a test world, and got a create system up and going that um, is going to be really cool. I got a really awesome idea for that. But like I said, guys, we need to go out. We need to find some cows. We also need to find some sugar cane so we can get some papel up and going. But we could also check out maybe that village. That village might have some good resources for us. So let's take a look at our map here and try to figure out what would make the most sense. Because we do have the village here. Um... But I don't think there's really anywhere else close by that would offer us sugarcane unless we went along the river here. So I think that's going to be our best um, our best bet right there. I think there are some skeletons down here. Yeah, these guys really like to hang out under here. I really should put some uh, really should put some lights down here, some torches so that they're not coming down here. Now, trick of the trade, guys, for those of you who are new, if you hit F7, it'll bring up a light map. So it'll show you where you have dark spots um, wherever you're at. So in your base, um, around if you're out mining, whatever it may be. Um, and the red is, I believe the red is a guarantee to spawn. Like there's a very high probability of them spawning there. Yellow is like that they could just spawn there, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I always get them mixed up. I just take it as is if there is a yellow or a red X on a block, I'm definitely gonna wanna put some light down in some form or fashion to uh, mitigate any spawns, uh, especially over here. Holy smokes, yeah. We always get, I always wake up in the morning in our house here to creepers. Now you might see we did lose a little bit of performance. We dropped a little bit in our performance here, um, but that's okay. We can hop off of this and it'll bounce right back. It's a weird thing. So anywho, so that's the plan. We're gonna take off and I am going to head to the village. I'll meet you guys on over there. All right, guys. So the village was kind of a bust. Nothing really there for us to grab. I did pick up some hay bales that were laying around. Got some seeds and miscellaneous bushes and berries and things like that. But nothing too crazy. I also picked up some more leather. I found a bunch of cows, which is really good. But no luck on a sugar cane or a paper. Um, so I'm just going out and I am doing some exploration, trying to find what we could find. I did find one of these towers again here, but it looks like, unfortunately, it is a destroyed one. Um, I don't know if it holds, like, any secrets on the inside. I don't think it does, um, unfortunately. Um, but these are cool prismarine blocks. Mm, dark prismarine, too, I should say. Ugh, so much effort to go through and take them all down. Oh, we'll probably leave it. If we want it, we know where to find it. But I'm going off. I am trying to find some sugar cane. Hopefully, we can find some along the river here. So far, no luck, but we will keep looking. I'll bring you guys back once we find something good. All right, guys, it looks like it's our lucky day. I actually am not too far away from where we were just at, um, and I noticed two pieces of sugar cane here. Um, it's not going to be enough for what we need to do to make paper, obviously, but it'll allow us to get a farm up and going for them so we can kind of mass produce it. But yeah, it's very slim pickings, I would say, out here for all of the uh, for sugar cane and things like that. I mean, even water, guys. I mean, like we we went over in our previous episode. It's hard to find water like when you go more inland. So you really have to go into these um, 
uh, down towards the water sources in order to get the water that you need. I also did pick up a mango sapling, which is pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to grab our buckets of water because speaking of water being here, I just want to grab a little bit more. I know we have an infinite resource of it back at the base, uh, but I just would like to have some more water buckets on us. Um, now, obviously, I am on the other side of the river here, and I did notice this here in the distance. I don't know what this is. Um, not this raccoon here, but <laughs> this thing behind him. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's two raccoons. That's so cool. I love Alex's mobs. There's such it adds such cool things into here. But yeah, what is like? Is this a illager fortress? It looks like it's got a banner on it and everything. But I don't see any enemies, and there's none that are popping up on the mini map right now. So is this a abandoned question mark this looks so cool though wow like guys like hang on let's get the uh let's get the old camry turned off here like what is this place this looks so cool all right let me get my camry back on here um, we got some Tasmanian devils. That's what the noise was. I was like, oh, it's, something bad's going to come out. Do these guys populate in once we enter? No. Okay. It's just, it's just abandoned. There's a, this would have been a really cool setup for us to go with. Um, what is this? Oak post. That's pretty cool. Um, this would have been cool to go with if we were just starting off and we found this, right? This would have been a cool setup. But I do like our Overlook Lodge that we're building. Oh, and we do have some chests. There is a campfire here. Oh, this is a great place to, to be a pit stop. Oh, and there's a tower right there, too. Look at that. And there's a village here. Oh, my gosh. There's horses and wolves and another tower here. Like, what? This is nice. This is the place we should have been at. Um, We got some barrels here. Nothing in the barrels. It looks like they're all just decorative. We do have a melon back there. Rabbit stew, some coal. I'll take some of that. We do have a saddle. Ooh, a knockback straight. I'm just going to take all of it. I don't know why I'm, I'm nitpicking on this. Um, ooh, we'll grab the melons and we'll also grab the hay bales as well because that's some good resources right there. Where does this go to? Just outside? Yeah, just outside here. Um, but it does loop around. This is so cool, guys. Yeah, this will be a great place as a um, like a pit stop on our journey. Like, if we ever need to have a place to rest, great place right here. So, we'll have to mark it on our mini-map. It doesn't look like there's anything else, though. There. What about up in this tower? Because this seems to be the tallest of the uh, ones around here. The tallest tower. So, this hops up onto here. You have another lantern, another place to rest. I think these are meant to be like beds, but not actually beds. So, Ooh, and you do have a bell up here. Ooh, okay. Another chest. Another one. Um, we definitely need to put some stuff away, though. So, um, let's just start. I don't know why I have polished. Oh, I picked that up from the, the thing. That's where it came from. So, let's just start putting some stuff in here that we know we don't need on us. This is a nice stone sword, but I really want to utilize the one we currently have till its full extent until we don't need it anymore. Um, okay, so we'll grab the rabbit stew. Vigilant one. That's actually not too shabby. Ooh, diamond horse armor. That'll be really nice. If we could grab a horse. There's horses right there, guys. Maybe we'll get a horse. Maybe we're going to sw switch the whole scope of this episode from being resource gathering and getting our main table up for cooking for blackheads now to getting a horse. That would be pretty cool. All right, guys. So I'm checking out one of the additional towers here. And I think this is an apotheosis tower because I'm finding all these tomes and books all the way up through here um, that are all from the apotheosis mod. And I've never really gotten into it, so we might have to do it this time around, this mod pack around. But I'm just grabbing all of these because they seem useful. And then we do have something here at the top. Whoa, what is that book? That looks cool. Rare affixed tome. Okay, uh, again, I am not super familiar with this. Can remove affixes, taking some of the items as, as, it sh as its own. The item must be rare or weaker. It will be destroyed. Okay. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with it. So I would love to get into it um, this, uh, in this pack, in this playthrough here. 
Um, I did realize I don't have an axe on me, like surprisingly, and I realized that I just noticed that I had some sticks because of course I am oblivious. I didn't need that many, but that's fine. Let's grab a pick or a stone axe here um, because I want to grab some of these bookshelves for sure. Now let's go to our backpack. We do want to sleep through this night here though real quick. Um, but yeah, I guess this is turning into an exploration episode, which is perfectly fine. We're finding some really cool stuff here. Um, we could put that away. Let's grab these bookshelves first because I just don't want to forget. But this is these are our books right here, so we don't have to worry about anything else. Um, we can get these and be good to go. Whoa, okay. Um, good thing that I did that first. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay, I'm going to assume that that was tied to this chest here. Um, wow, okay. Can I get rid of those? Okay, is that... It looks like it's the only ones, unless there's... Ooh, they're hiding under here, too. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, my gosh. That would have sucked. Yeah, I'm guessing it's tied to the chest. I mean, we pretty much clicked on everything else, and nothing happened. So, I'm going to take the wild guess that that's what it was, is it was from the chest. Um, we really don't need these trapdoors, so... All right. What do we have in here? Ah, that's kind of hilarious that I literally just made a stone axe and we have one here a culling iron axe from um it's just from minecraft it has some kind of enchantment on here your attacks execute foes below 9.7 9.47 9 health it's actually kind of cool very 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 specific um like a health level there life mending is horrible i would not recommend getting it at all yeah, don't, I'm not even picking it up. I'm not even doing it. Okay, we did make some advancements, though. Um, for Apotheosis, I believe. I just don't know what, like, the Undergarden? What is this for? Undergarden? I have no idea what that is for. Astral, Basics, uh, Husbandry, Architects, Belunking, Adventure, Apotheosis. Uh, okay, maybe it wasn't there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I think I could click on these. Yeah, rare. Can I like, does it open it? If I, no, I'm asking too much. I'm asking too much of it. Okay, and I believe there's another tower. So let's go to that one. All right, so we're in the other tower now. I did go ahead, made sure I got the TNT out of here. And let's see what we get in here. Wow, lots of books. And we did get a shovel. Right click it will place a torch at a cost of one durability. Seriously. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, it's a bummer. Like, it's only one durability that like, it takes down one durability. I don't know what the overall durability on this is, but that is pretty sick. We have a lot of enchanted books in here. So Vitality 2, Unbreaking 3, Ocelot Aversion 5. Interesting. Angler's Bounty 1 provides a chance of catching extra items when fishing. Yeah, we should get fishing up and going relatively soon. Silk Touch, ooh, okay. Don't know if that'll be a big thing in this pack, though, because of how the ore generation is. It seems very different. And then luck of uh, repairing as well. I am noticing our quests are kind of going off the rails here. So, um, I kind of want to figure out what's going on. So, do we have a... I'm just going to click through all of these until we find whatever was like whatever we uh, somehow completed quests for i think it might have been up here yeah there we go shield we do get a stone hammer from it okay and we completed something else as well book finding a book oh and that gives us the tome perfect okay that's totally worth it i talked on that pretty early on around the tome so i'm not going to spend too much time going over it now but i believe we do have some apples guys and i believe we do have some saddles we have a horse armor like we are pretty much set to go so why don't we grab a horse i mean that would be like the best form of transportation for us there's one there there's two here um that one has 26 health and i like you're not having it I forget. I think we got to take apples, right? It's been so long since I've, like, enticed a horse <laughs> in in Minecraft. 
Yeah? Yeah, you happy with that? Can... No, you're not that happy. Aha! Okay, so he's got a lot of health. I don't know how quick he is. I think I just gotta give it, like, more time, and I can get him out. Ooh, you know what I should do? I have a lead. Let's get this guy out of here. Alright. We'll open this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoop, the cow's coming out. Cow's coming out. Come on, dude. I know you can make it out of that. The, literally, the sheep came out of it. Like, how can you not come out of here? This is a cool corral, but... Oop. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. My bad, my dude. Alright, um... I always forget how to... There we go. I know how to Minecraft. Oh, there we go. We got him to like us. Yes, he is happy. Okay, so can I go to his inventory? I can, um, but it's in our backpack. I need to grab it. So do we not have a saddle? Yes, we do. And we have diamond horse armor. So, you know, we already put in that both on here. So there you go. And this is our guy. Oh, this is going to make traveling so much better, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh oh this looks sick okay oh this is the best okay i'm so happy we have a horse he's not the fastest i'll admit he's not super super quick um but he is uh he's he's quick enough he's better than us walking let's let's go with that um okay so i need to get a i need to get a screenshot of this now this is yeah this is gonna be cool Okay, hang on a second, guys. Let's uh, let's get the Camry off here. You guys will see. You already see this. This is how we line up our thumbnails here. But there we go. Us and our diamond-plated horse. Oh, so sick. Okay, let's get our Camry back on here. I gotta remember what. Twenty-two minutes in. Twenty-two minutes in is when I need to go through and grab our uh, our screenshot there for our thumbnail. Oh, but this is gonna make things so much easier. Yeah, he's not very fast. I will admit. But that's that's not a problem. Take what we can get here. Wow, this is really nice. There's a lot for us to explore here. So, um, all right, let me shift and get off of you here and let's grab our lead. I don't want to lose you. So uh, I'm going to stick you right here. So please don't go anywhere. Oh, so cool looking, guys. He's so cool. OK. I don't know why it's literally it's literally just a horse like <laughs> but I'm so excited. I would love to get like a cat and a wolf back at our place too. That would be really really convenient. Um so we could have some additional protection cuz as you guys know, um wolves help out against like skeletons and things like that and zombies and um cats will help out against creepers. So I don't know if it's very like if it's beneficial for us to grab all these if we're just getting a bunch of duplicates, but again, I'm not super f familiar with the mod, so I don't like I, I just want to grab them while we can. So, um, okay, and then I of course took off our axe here. We we'll want to grab these, take out those, take out those. Let's not fall into infinity. <laughs> Grab that. Okay. Put that down there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And obviously, we're going to grab all of these books. Just super useful to have. Makes it so much easier so you don't have to craft them later. And then we did get an advancement close quarters. We found reinforced netherite chest plate, boys, of tendency. It's rare, and it does give us a big bump up in health, overall health. Holy smokes, guys. Okay, hang on. We need to go to our backpack again and kind of deposit some of this stuff um, that we have been collecting. What is this? Oh, that's our tome. Um, yeah, we have all these tomes from, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, mana regen, luck of cheap repairing, once again, uncommon, affix, rare, common, uh, bane of illagers, three, soulbound, mythic and then our reinforced armor here which is awesome that is so cool i believe that bumped up our hearts if i'm not mistaken and let's get some food 
and we're gonna have to get our sleeping bag once again Ooh, we do have this up here i always forget gotta grab it and we're gonna sleep through the night this is the best guys we're finding really great stuff okay so found a bunch of stuff thus far we have a long journey back though and we're gonna maybe want to set up a bridge actually so that we can easily get our horse across the river because that is going to be an issue is that we have um we have to cross the river to get back so i think with that being said i'll explore the rest of this village and then we'll start making our way back to the base all right guys so the village didn't actually have too much stuff for us i picked up some beeswax from a um a bee villager i guess <laughs> um an apiary villager i don't know what they're called um, but i did realize there's actually kind of a pre-made bridge here for us because of how the village was generated um so it kind of works out so we could just kind of go right across here and uh, right up i did do a little bit of cleaning up of that so it would make it a little bit more convenient but i did also notice that there is a broken nether portal over here and there's always a chest here which is extremely useful oh we did find some gold leggings we did get that oh flint and steel which would be extremely useful um what can we get rid of uh, in here some obsidian would be really nice and then a fire charge as well which is pretty nice i just what what can we what can we put down that we, we can put down um and you know what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna go into our backpack and i'm gonna get rid of our hmm, the lava would be really nice to have because we don't have any currently that's what i'm thinking so let's actually go in into our backpack um actually you know what we'll go where did we put our we got a helmet now so we can put that on we're just kind of piecing together our outfit aren't we and we'll put our legs on which is fine and then um backpack for our water here place that down and we'll grab two buckets of lava since we have it right here why not grab it we'll grab lava and lava We'll place both of those in our backpack. And then the other thing I'm going to do is grab these magma blocks because these are extremely useful, especially as we get into create. There's also uranium ore here. Um, probably useful for us to get. Ooh, there is a block of a whole block of gold here. Um, that's very useful for us as well. Um, obviously, we just don't want us to burn up from trying to collect it. So we got it. The netherrack actually probably would be relatively useful as well. As we're starting to get going into things, I'm just trying to be like realistic on what makes sense for us to pick up. Okay, the fire charge maybe doesn't make sense. We, we could probably get that going relatively easily. Um, yeah, you do want to be careful with these magma blocks though because they will do damage to you. So just keep that in mind. We'll just use our... Um... Ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> just use our stone hammer there. Well, that could have been pretty bad. Um, but I think that's about good. We got 40 netherrack. We got about nine of the magma blocks. There's some more goodies here that we could obviously pick up if we really wanted to. Um, but there's really no need for us to do it. So I guess for now we can actually just head back to the base if I find where my horse wandered off to. I got to be careful. He's just going to wander off on his own every time I let him be by himself. So guys, with that being said, I'll meet you back at the base. All right, guys, we are back at the base and I have done just a little bit of work um, between getting back and uh, coming back to recording here and bringing you guys on back. So what have we done? Well, um, I might have gone a little bit overboard with a place for our horse. Um, so first, well, let me just show you what we got. Let me show you what we got and then we'll go from there. Um, so, yeah, I carved out this whole area for our horse. He's just chilling in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i made this whole nice little area here carved it out gave him a whole glass roof so he gets plenty of sunlight along with some lanterns to keep it nice and bright when it is nighttime and then some water some nice grass in here some hay bales like he is going to be a happy camper in here now the one thing i did notice is he really does love to go on that waterfall and go up it and then kind of come down but it doesn't look like he takes any damage from it so i think it's fine as is i'm not too concerned with it um you know worst case scenario we we need to bump it down or something like that uh, but i'll just keep an eye on him he seems to be fine he has a little bit of damage because i accidentally bumped him when i was placing some stuff uh, but it is what it is but yeah so we come in here yeah it's so nice i like how this turned out it's pretty straightforward nothing too crazy just some of this polished slate brick along with normal weathered limestone i just left it as is i didn't think there was anything 
fancy we needed to necessarily do with it. Um, but yeah, I think this is a nice little place for him. Nice little place for him to hang out. Now, I could take the armor off of him if I really wanted to and kind of put it up here and so he doesn't have to wear it all the time. I might do that, but for the time being, I think it's fine. I had him temporarily over here. That's why those fence posts are there. But he is a happy camper. Oh, geez, he's up there now. Okay. I don't think from... Well, he might actually be able to jump out of there if I have that there. Let's get rid of that one. Let's get rid of that one. He might be able to jump out. If he jumps on that and then somehow is able to jump over here. Very rare, probably, chance of that happening. But just to be safe, I don't want to lose him. He is our little baby boy now. Okay. Any oozins. So we did that. Um, you might be wondering how we got the grass in here. Well, we did pick up a Silk Touch book, if you guys recall. So I just put it on an iron pickaxe. Um, we had enough of iron to actually make up an anvil that we were kind of talking on earlier in the episode. So I made this up and then I put uh, Silk Touch on here, which is pretty nice. I know there's other ways to do it through the um, Tetra mod probably, um, but I think this is perfectly fine as is. I'm also going to take this Unbreaking book and I think I'm going to throw it on it as well just so we can ensure that um it has some good longevity to it i'm going to throw it into our backpack and have it on us when we need it we still need to do a little bit of cleaning as you can see our inventory is a little bit of a mess but the other thing that we did get was actually a trinket the magneto trinket nice little reference to x-men there for those of you who are fans of x-men um so the way that you get into your trinkets again is you press r by default it's r and it'll pull up your active trinkets. Now, by uh, default, there's only one slot that's unlocked. We unlocked a second one by spending about 20 levels. The next one is 25 experience levels to get there, so we're not there just yet. Um, but what you can do is actually take trinkets on and off. So, like, if we remove that, we have three other ones in our backlog that we could do. So, we have the Magneto, we have Slingshot, and then uh, Blank Eyes. So, Blank Eyes, you can look at Enderman. Slingshot, you can deal uh, knockback when hitting enemies. And then the Magneto, which is awesome because I was just talking on this and I was talking on this in the last episode, is collecting items and experience orbs in a range of 10 by 10 when activated. This is perfect. So we just click on that and it's good to go. Now, by default, it's not activated. So like if we throw some hay bales down, like we'll throw some hay bales over there and over there and whatnot. But by default, as you can see, it's not picking them up. Well, in order to activate them, you can actually hover and it says here. So activate by right clicking in the air with an empty hand or a binding key. So we can just right click and it activates and we're good to go. So now we have a magnet via a trinket. So the trinkets are extremely useful, I would say. Definitely um, progress in that space as well. But guys, with that being said... It's time to wrap up the episode. So I hope you all enjoyed episode four. If you did, leave a like down below. Better yet, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking on this series. If you are new here and you do want to follow along, definitely hit that subscribe button and bell notification. It'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. I do stream over on Twitch on Mondays and Fridays at about 4.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, sometime in that range there. Um, so if you're interested in catching a live stream, link for that is in the description down below, along with a link to the community discord. If you feel like joining in the community, I do post updates for the channel as well as the stream over there. So I highly recommend checking that out as well. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so very much. I had so much fun and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.